Moving on, uh, the New York Giants uh, coming off a disappointing home loss to the Saints. Now travel to Carolina to face the Panthers. The Panthers, who ridiculously are coming off a bye week uh, uh, for a game that's going to be played on October 7th. So they, they'll be obviously fresh, and they've had time to rest up for the Giants. All of it uh, adds up to a, a tough task uh, for the G-Men. Wes? I liked what I saw out of the Giants' offense in um, week three, and it erroneously led me to believe that they might be breaking out. And then listen to these two quotes. After Eli Manning, I'm watching that game, and in the middle of the third quarter has not completed a pass longer than 11 yards. Odell Beckham is a little frustrated right now because Eli isn't throwing it to him deep. And Eli says risks are not what you want to take. You throw the ball down the field when it's not risky, and then there's forcing things, and that leads to turnovers that leads to mistakes. That's one quote. Here's the other one. Here's Bill, Bill Parcells talking about old, washed-up quarterbacks. <laughs> They're torn between the turnover, which they don't want again. to make because it's a killer, and throwing the ball when the separation between the receiver and the defender isn't quite enough. They're not confident throwers like they were when they were younger. And Eli Manning... He's subtweeting to Drew Bledsoe right there, by the way. Since, <laughs> since the beginning of the 2016 season, this is going back three years now, the Giants are the worst offense in the NFL. They don't average more than 16 points a game. And no quarterback, maybe no player I've ever seen, has more excuses made for him constantly mm. than Eli Manning. It's time to score more than 30 points in a game. And they might need to this week because the Panthers' offense is a better offense this year. The early returns on Norv Turner – updating that offense a little bit, or basically just getting rid of Mike Shula. I, I'm liking what I'm seeing in terms of the play calling. This is a team that, even when their defense doesn't play as well, can put up some points, and I don't see why they wouldn't. And Luke Keekley, not that Luke Keekley needs any love, but he looks extra special this year so far through three weeks, and he'll be a terror shutting down Saquon Barkley. It does feel like the Panthers have not played in about four months, but the last time we saw them, they wiped out the Bengals' defense with their ground game. And you are now playing a Giants team that ranks 29th on the ground, and it looks that way sometimes when you're watching these teams go against their defense. I love this matchup for the Panthers. And, Dan, I do not love this week. g -man. Thank you for playing along. I, in fact, like the Panthers so much that I think the g -man. are going to get wiped here. The Panthers are my confident lock of the week. I'm locking it up. There you go. Everybody a little bit behind right now. Um, <laughs> that went very smoothly. <laughs> it's a knife. It's a it's, it's a safe pick, and I, I feel like you're gonna get this one. I am one in three right now. I can I gotta stop. You know, spinning the dice on totally absurd locks. <laughs> By the way, uh, Wes, just let's check in. I know it's a bye week, so he hasn't played four games yet. But Norv Turner over the summer, I see Cam as a guy that can be in the mid to high 60s as a completion percentage. Right now, Cam Newton, 65.4%. Things are looking up for Cam. Which would be by far a career high. 67.4%. I mean, so is the whole league, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's give it more than three games. So let's see what happens. 67.4, you're right, Chris Wessling. Last year, 59.1. That would be quite a jump if he could hold this. Very fun. You're, you're really excited. <laughs> I don't know. 